Hey, Hickok 45, we're doing another vlog, believe it or not. Uh, I guess we don't do them as often now, perhaps because I get to chat at you a lot on the radio shows, but we still enjoy doing this because it's kind of casual. We're back here on the lower 40 in the woods, as you can see, sitting in the creek bay, I guess we call it, and uh, just watching out for snakes and ticks. It's tick season now. So uh, if you have a keen eye, you can kind of spot them coming at you if they're on the ground, they're not dropping out of the trees. But anyway, uh, good to chat with you again, face to face, face to lens. Uh, things are going well, of course. Uh, things, uh, things are growing fast. Uh, I thought it was growing fast a year ago and six months ago, but it just seems to, to keep uh, exploding on us here with uh, a lot more demands in terms of communication, that sort of thing. But of course, just one person, one keyboard, I, I can't uh, keep up with, with all that, but I'm, uh, I'm touching base with a lot of the messages, and uh, you know that if you're uh, watching this vlog probably, because your messages are probably pretty sensible, and you probably have learned uh, where to ask the questions and uh, what kinds of things I'll answer <laughs> and try to uh, give some attention to uh, as private messages. Uh, I can't even keep up with all the private messages now. I used to be able to. I do read them all. And unless it's long, two or three paragraphs or something maybe, or it's, it gets a little convoluted and there's too many questions in it, you know, really I, I, I need uh, just one or two questions, you know, that sort of thing. And, and things you need to, uh, to come to me for, uh, not to sound like I'm an expert, but I mean things that, that uh, not things that you could just Google and get is what I'm trying to say there. I'm not Mr. Google. Uh, a lot of people think I am. But anyway, it is going really well, and uh, we're getting a lot of a lot of views and subscribers. Uh, people are wandering in from who knows where. I guess searching for various guns and uh, finding us, and uh, and sticking, you know, which is which is nice. The uh, partnership's going well. We're uh, you know we're able to to buy ammo, you know, and uh, targets and supplies now without having to think about it too much. Even a gun now and then. So I'm trying to fold it all back into the the project and keep nice camera gear and everything as you can tell so uh, you know that side of it is going really well do need to ask your help again as it's getting bigger and bigger to uh, help me answer questions you know people that because I really you see that I do answer them sometimes and I reply to comments that I see them but that's really only as uh, time permits uh, a lot of this come through an email account I have I haven't funneled to it but for some reason a lot of the comments don't a lot do piles of them every day but uh, and I skim through those very quickly and sometimes I'll see something that I'll kind of flag and I'll go to that video and I'll, I'll comment on it or answer it or delete it or block somebody you know I do have a quick finger trigger uh, trigger finger you know that and uh, you know uh, be sure you're you're showing me that you're just trying to be funny you know like me I have a dry sense of humor so I, I do have a lot of uh, patience and tolerance for that because I mean I'm the king of dry humor right uh, one of the kings I know a lot of people just like me but uh, so, you know, I understand that. But, but then you know what I'm talking about. There are people who they really don't have much going on themselves and uh, their only goal in life is to go around and, uh, well, you got the trolls, of course. Uh, they don't really count. But, but there's another class of people who just can't seem to get anything going on their own. And so they go around stirring up a little trouble with people that, that are doing something. You know how that goes. Maybe they're envious or they're, they just, I don't know, don't have much going for themselves. I don't know. But anyway, I'm pretty quick on the trigger when it comes to deleting and blocking if I see things like that. If it's not something that adds to the, not something constructive, you know, that adds to the uh, channel, you know, so to speak. So anyway, we do a lot of work. Uh, we take it seriously and we want to keep it as clean as we can and, and not have a bunch of stupid stuff on there. And, and like I've said before, if there is a conversation, sometimes I may start, I may answer somebody. And then it gets into a conversation, and I, I look at it, you know, a week later, and I'm like, uh, or a day later, I shouldn't have even gotten into that conversation, uh, and I'll just delete all of it, you know, or that sort of thing. So anyway, it's tough to manage all these videos and everything. Help me out if you can. Uh, let people know if they're being stupid. You know, vote them out of the, vote them off the island or something, <laughs> whatever. But anyway, appreciate your support and all the. Uh, uh, intelligent questions I get. I get a lot of really good questions. I really do, and uh, I've gotten to know a lot of you. You know, just through your your comments and through your uh, your questions, uh, uh, some of you pretty well. So I've developed a few friendships here and there. It's just it's too bad. They're so so uh, the volume is, is so in, uh, incredible. I don't have the opportunity to get to know some of you better because I can tell a lot of a lot of neat not a lot of neat folks. Uh, shooters tend to be good good folks, and 99 percent. 
and uh, it, it, I can tell a lot of you are here from people all over the country, you know, fire chiefs and uh, cops and uh, police chief in New York, you know, people are right to me and tell me they watch the videos, uh, guys in Iraq uh, talking about them and their buddies watching the videos. And I mean, that, that's real rewarding or really, uh, yeah, it's very gratifying to know that, that people are getting some, some good out of it if it's just entertainment, you know, and hopefully some information uh, out of it as well, some knowledge, you know, because they probably have some interest in firearms. Pretty smart, aren't they? I figured that out. Most people watching our videos have an interest in firearms. Make a note of that. Uh, we, uh, you know, it is getting big. Of course, we have, we've noticed a little bit of, uh, I guess, imitation. You know, people are gonna, gonna copy our style, of course, because if people seem to like it, I mean, it works well. And I mean, we didn't really plan it that way, but uh, makes sense. Yeah. You know, so we don't mind people kind of get into our style, but. Uh, we do not really like folks taking our material, which occasionally happens, you know, just taking a piece of a video or a video and doing something with it. I, that's a no-no. You know, it's, I think it's called, I don't laugh, it's called intellectual property. I hear you giggling when I said intellectual, right? <laughs> well, it is intellectual property, just like a song or a movie or anything else. Hey, it is a movie. Okay. A whole movie. But anyway, uh, we do you know, maintain ownership and of course as partners and uh, anyway, be good, be good. And, and obviously that's rare when people do that. Uh, what else was I gonna talk about? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of questions now that Top Shot's running on the History Channel about that again. And uh, again, I've discussed that in uh, vlogs and things, just a little bit, uh, all I can say. They just couldn't work out the contracts on that uh, last year, fall, whenever that was, time flies. And that's really all I can say about that. Uh, a lot of questions about the uh, T and E guns. Really, I, I mention those in the interest of full disclosure. That's really what I'm, I'm doing. I, I really want to maintain our credibility as best we can, you know, if I have any credibility. Uh, you know, we go to great lengths and always have, just like when we shoot. Uh, I haven't done that lately, I guess, but the, the long shots and stuff, I, I really didn't intend to do that to, to show off, really. I like to show people what these little guns will do, you know, or what a. 1911 will do what a Glock 23, a Glock 27 even would do at 230 yards. That it's really uh, operator error when we miss and that uh, that's the capability of these little handguns that people consider inaccurate or loose. You know, that's always funny. A loose 1911 like that really matters, you know. Uh, I mean, in, in a practical sense. Uh, and, and so anyway, that's, you know, even from the, the days we did the more of those, uh, uh, we always wanted to make sure it was clear that we were, we were, uh, you know, everything's above board. You know, we weren't, we didn't edit any of those, you know, and wasn't like, okay, let's shoot at that thing a thousand times and piece together four or five hits, you know. You know, we didn't want anybody to suspect that we even did that, you know. So we, uh, I always told John, hey, John, let's make sure we make this clear and we plan it out, you know. Focus on me shooting and, and me hitting it before we do any zooming, you know, and that kind of thing, and bring it back. Let's let's make it clear. I'm not, uh, as soon as uh, I get out of the picture after one shot, I'm reaching down here and picking up a scope-sided 30 out 6 and uh, putting it on a uh, some kind of rest or something. So, But anyway, in the interest of full disclosure, uh, is why I mentioned that, that this gun is not mine. I didn't go buy this gun. It's a T&E gun. Uh, I guess not that it really matters that much, but uh, oh, well, it does because uh, I wouldn't want you to think I'm bragging about it because it's uh, a free gun or one that, that a company sent me, you know? Very hot and sweaty down in these uh, woods today. Love it. But uh, uh, so that's why I even mention it. But a lot of people have asked about the TNE guns, and there have been a lot of inquiries, and uh, I think a lot of people, a lot of, uh, oh, uh, probably younger people or people just don't understand how that kind of thing works uh, with magazine articles and, and all that that uh, it's not easy to get those okay yeah it does stand for testing evaluation but the companies really are not sending those out uh, for testing evaluation quote unquote in, in, in the sense that maybe some people think they are is think about it it's mostly for publicity unless they're going to get a lot of bang for their buck in terms of a lot of publicity uh, it's very hard to, to get those. You know, I was turned down by Smith and Wesson. You know, and I've only contacted three other companies: and, and, uh, Ruger, uh, Block, and Springfield. And, and they uh, they have uh, you know, acquiesced. They've sent me guns and everything. I'm on their list and all that. I've not even tried any other companies. I, if there may be 
a lot of companies that will, will allow me to do that. And uh, we're just really busy. I've got my own guns and other things uh, that we want to do, so I can't really handle having you know, 40 T&E guns coming in anyway just because I could. I don't have the time for it right now. Maybe this summer we'll uh, be a little bit more ambitious with that, and before summer gets here, I'll contact a couple, three more companies maybe, but still, it's a lot to keep up with and get them sent back and what videos we're going to do with it. We've got, we have three T and E guns right now in our possession, and uh, so anyway, just a, a mention about that. It's nice to get those in. I still try to be honest. Uh, not in the business of trashing companies, you know, uh, but then I'm not going to oversell anything. And, and, and you know, just by uh, merit of the fact that I tell you, you know, I acknowledge I think that's a T and E gun. That's why I do it. You know, if I do get a little too overly zealous about that gun, you know, factor it in, you know. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. Uh, join the radio show. Uh, it's kind of like this. It's kind of fun to sit in the woods and talk to you or sit in the reloading room and just chat with you uh, rather than be focusing on a, uh, a shooting video where shooting is the thing. Uh, killing watermelons or whatever we're doing. Uh, the radio show is, is great. I. I I thought of something this morning I want to talk about next week, uh, maybe a couple of things. But just do be aware, as I mentioned in this week's uh, show, that you know, I may not do that every Saturday. I don't want uh, the tail to be wagging the dog now. I want to continue enjoying this. And if it ever gets to a point where, oh, gosh, I don't know what I want to talk about this week. I know people, at least some people, <laughs> like to, to listen to that on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I don't want to get to a point where I'm having to stretch for stuff. You know, so if that goes to every two weeks or once a month or twice a week, just, just bear with me. When it comes, it comes, okay? Uh, if you enjoy it, enjoy it when it's there. Uh, also, continue sending me topics or things you'd like me to talk about. As usual, we take suggestions, you know, we register them. If it's something we uh, are interested in, great. So you never know when your suggestion is going to raise a flag, just like the fellow this week that uh, recommended uh, I talk about Western, my favorite Western, you know, movies. That kind of, ah, yeah, that sounds like fun. So I did, you know. Uh, but then I may have five suggestions. I think, yeah, okay, I can see why you might like me to talk about that. I don't think I know anything about that, or I don't think I want to talk. Yeah, so just make your suggestions, on, and uh, just like videos, you know, we, we register all that. I've got a file, lots of files, lots of Word documents where I'll copy and paste from your private messages. I call it key messages, you know, and I've got categories in there, you know, a year or two's work. And I'll paste your message into there, and uh, and I put it under a heading of something, you know, a suge suggestions and some different things. So I've got all that stuff filed away. Uh, seems like most of the things we're doing come from us, things we want to do. You know, we we think of the stuff, you know, and then uh, I don't know, 10, 20 percent comes from your suggestions, that sort of thing. We still get. Uh, suggestions or uh, offers to do artwork for us, that kind of thing. And again, got one yesterday. We appreciate that too. We, we, we do that sort of thing. Uh, we will dress up the channel when we get ready to. Kind of like a plane, tell you the truth. The videos uh, are what it's about. You know, it's what's in the videos that is our primary focus, not you know, a glitzy uh, channel really when you go to it. We may do something with it at some point, make some psychedelic banner, have flashing lights, neon signs, and uh, swimsuit models? No, I better not. But you know, we'll we may do something like that sometime. But yeah, you know, we'll we'll think about it. And uh, but anyway, we'll take care of it. I appreciate the offers on that. Uh, we lately have been doing a lot of vids videos. I know we uh, I don't know. It seemed like around Christmas we got a lot done, and then we just happened to have some weekends that hit and uh, decent weather here and there. We kind of got on a roll with things we wanted to do. We're never just doing videos to be doing videos. As you can tell, there, there's very few of our videos that uh, I think if you looked at all 380, whatever we have now, that you would say, eh, looks like those guys are kind of bored. You know, just we're desperate to do a video. I think there's very few of those. Uh, and most of those would have come maybe early on, just something to do, a video just kind of, we were kind of excited about, about it going well. Hey, let's do this, you know, or something, I don't know. But really, We've always had a purpose and uh, something we thought was worthwhile doing, and uh, we still do, or we won't do them. You know, it's like, why, why do that? Uh-oh. Excuse me. There's a tick crawling on that leaf. It's coming this way. Got him. <laughs> I can, I've been living in a country so long, 
I can I can hear them really crawling in the grass, and then I can spot them. I might not spot a bear up there, but I'll spot a tick. So anyway, got to be on alert. Those things want to suck your blood. They're like little baby zombies. It just takes more of them, and more time. So. I guess that's about all I wanted to, to talk about today. Just wanted to kind of bring you out through the woods with us here. It's a beautiful spring day and uh, chat about a couple of things. Things are going well. Like I said, it's really, really busy. Uh, if you get one vid a week, if you get two videos a week, uh, that's really our plan. That's what I was going to say before the tick interrupted me. I heard him over there. Uh, we really, our plan is to do a video or two a week. That's kind of our schedule. And it's just worked out in the last month or two. We've, we've probably posted three or four some weeks. So uh, don't think we've gone away or I've been hit by a truck if you just end up with a video uh, one week, you know, or it even goes two weeks because we've got a weekend we're off doing something else. So just be aware of that uh, and uh, we'll keep posting. So but the problem is you've got to keep watching for us to keep posting. So anyway, I've enjoyed chatting with you over here in the woods. And... Uh, Y'all come back and see me. I'm going to take a few more shots here since the gun's dirty. Yeah, life's good.